How did Sam get on site at the Lincoln Memorial? Easy. Secret Service acting on orders from the President got him there. Why'd they do that? Oh, that's a little trickier. You see, the name Lucius Gallier got Grimm's attention. She knew he was a businessman Reed was working with. But Reed kept things compartmentalized, and that was one of the aspects of his operation Grimm had no access to. It pissed her off. What Grimm did know was that Reed was meeting Galliard at the memorial in the morning, right after some bullshit photo op speech the VP was given. Galliard's people were handling event logistics, which was why he'd be there. Grimm took it to the president, who didn't like the coincidence. She wanted to know what they were talking about, and that meant getting Sam on site for audio surveillance. And more, if necessary. I'm inside. What now? The President's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. What? Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my Vice President's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. Then what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, pack the camera controls to record the conversation, and uplink the feed to us. Okay. Just like that. All right, yeah. I'm on it. Yeah. What did you think? Of what? My speech? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Did you vote for him? In the primaries? No, I'm a little surprised the administration came All right, Grim. I'm in the camera booth. Now what? You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Hang on. That's it. Now I need you to get comfortable with those camera controls. We're dealing with directional mics here, high-end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot, and we'll get the audio. Miss them, and we get nothing. And here they come, now. Lucius, I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out, and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several, <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Oh. Do you now? A nice piece of grandstanding. He should give his writers a raise. He swears he writes all his speeches himself. I'm sure it plays well for the folks back home. I like the chances. You don't like Samson. I don't trust Samson. But. This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. Guido's getting cold feet. Let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation, and Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere, because my men will deal with them, since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. <laughs> Why would you say that? The eyes of history are upon us. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do you enjoy the spotlight more than that? I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the page is the one with the least cover. This isn't good enough. This isn't good enough. Leaving things to chance or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. Come on, Sam. I'm very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. Careful. I'll be more careful. Galliard. Mr. Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished what? talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution now. that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides, and was wondering if you'd be open to further discussion on the matter. Oh, how very thoughtful of him. The answer is still... You really shouldn't talk to Grimm like that. Oh. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. If he's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed, bigger than Third Echelon. They're just convenient. So why does Reed want you out of town? Ugh. Your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs. Where do I find them? Say please. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for? This is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this in one piece. And once Reed is finished at the white... <laughs> Oh, Reed, no. Damn it. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. I've got a visual. He's on the stage. Hey. He just ducked into the VIP tent. Hurry up, Sam. Oh, lose him.
for you again, Sam. All here for adventure. He jumped down. Keep going, dead ahead. The large tent in front of you ducked into it. Any idea why? I'll tap into their Como to find out. Everybody out! Now! I'm seeing him exit the cafe. He's headed for the parkway, Sam. He's headed for that car. Put it into practice. There are multiple third echelon squads converging on your position right now. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off. <laughs> and the gloves are off. I need a ride out of here. The Secret Service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. Police are reporting a real life deadly accident at the Lincoln Memorial later that morning. Washington businessman and philanthropist Lucius Gallier suffered a fatal heart attack while visiting the memorial itself. He was taken to the Washington Mercy Hospital. No around here. Alive. We better hurry before the cops come back. Meanwhile, a multiple car pileup in that same area has police on the scene. Stay alert. We've got to turn up sooner or later. Uh, police advise drivers to take an alternate route if possible to avoid traffic. Vector's clear. We now return you to your program. I'm not seeing anything. Sam, a second wave of operatives is on its way. Sign of the target. Jesus! There's another batch coming at you, Sam. Target is hiding. This is a pro. Be smart. Find the hostile and terminate him. Still no visual on Fisher. Continue. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck! Right there. I think the hostile is right there. Get ready to move. We're going in. Go, go! 
No contact. Holy shit! He's gone. No contact. Repeat. No contact. Go, Sam. Your ride is here. Where? On the bridge behind the cafe. Go. 